everyone. So this is Armita, being a geographer all the way from Bangladesh, from an urban planner. So okay, every geographer likes to start with a map. I'm doing the same. That's my home and that's my school. I used to travel like one to two hours every day on my way back to home and uh, school. That's like four hours of travel like every day. Okay, and uh, that's only 13 kilometer, uh, that means like eight to nine miles. And you guys know the obvious reason, that's like the traffic. And as you can see, there's like car, car, and car, and almost no bus. And even if there are like bus, that's like very poor condition, and also like no sidewalks. You can't even imagine separate bike lane there. And uh, yeah, this is where I've been brought up in the capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka city. So I always wanted to do something for this city. So I got my undergrad degree in urban planning and then I started my career as a lecturer. I used to teach there all the tech stuff like GIS, transport modeling, urban planning techniques and uh, then I realized that I don't like the theoretical or policy-based approach of urban planning. Rather, I want to do some kind of modeling around all that. So I came here studying to study geography. I have this idea that uh, geography is all about jazz. So I wanted to learn like spatial modeling in transport planning and all that from geography perspective. So I came here in Utah, but uh, back then my advisor, like my first advisor left, and then I started to work with a different advisor, and uh, he worked on intersection between disaster and transportation, so I kind of reshaped my orientation, and then I tried to identify, uh, in my master's thesis, I tried to identify a safe route for uh, vehicles during urban floods. So my idea was like if we want to go like from one to two and uh, three and uh, this will be your faster route but uh, during flood it should not work because it's close to the uh, environmental factors that may cause flood. So this is like my safe route and uh, the blue one is like a balance route that considers both travel time and safety. Okay. And uh, my safest route is only two minutes long than my fastest route. So it was m the whole modeling thing. All I'm trying to say that when we do routing, the travel time is not the only factor we should consider. Based on your con context, there's like different other factors that you can consider. Okay, so I did a different project that also on Hurricane Harvey. The first one also on Hurricane Harvey. And, uh, this one also tried to identify like the changes in special access to primary care, primary care physicians after Hurricane Harvey. And uh, here you can see an interesting thing. Like uh, after Harvey, all the primary care physicians moved to like uh, in the center to Houston. And uh, so the fringe area experienced a decline in special accessibility and all the rich people used to live in the fringe area. So the rich people experienced decline in the spatial access, which we do not expect because of this equity issue and all that. So a big question raised by this research is like, all this equity issue we talk about, like poor people live close to the medical service, but do they have real access to the medical service and all that? Like can we say based on distance? Again, travel time or distance is not the only factor. So I had this particular interest, like how also we can incorporate other transport factors. Uh, uh, and like I believe that we need to promote uh, safe and equitable accessibility, accessible transport system rather than a faster or mobile transport system. So I always wanted to work on public transit and active transportation system. Right now I'm thinking of a topic on how to identify a better accessibility measure uh, for biking and pedestrian services. And also I'm planning to uh, thinking about designing a network system that uh, can 
not only ensure access that uh, a bike route is closer to your house, at the same time, it will also ensure increase in the bike and pedestrian ridership. So that's what I'm thinking of or currently working on. Thank you so much.